voila. So here we are. And you're like, Brian, I like making videos, but it's just not enough. I want to go live. I want my students to all be together in one place and all watch each other live. And what we need is live video conferencing. And so uh, right now we have two main services who are doing this for free, and that will be Google Meets and then Zoom. And we're going to look at Google Meets right now. Um, and because of the coronavirus outbreak in our world, Google has said, you know what, we're going to give the premium features for free. So let's check those out. Let's see what they're giving you. Larger meetings, up to 250 participants per call. Geez Louise, that's a lot of people. Um, you can live stream for up to 100,000 viewers. Man, you have made it. 100,000 viewers. That sounds great. And then you could record the meetings for those. See, when we're talking about live, you know, live video conferencing, it's hard to expect every student to be able to watch it live. It, it really will be. So I want you to make sure those expectations are there. Like it's probably not going to happen. Um, so that means you can record it and then have them watch it at their own leisure. Give them a deadline to watch that video. So let's get the party started. So if you go to meet.google.com and you have to have a Google account to do this, um, you will join or start a meeting. Let's just kind of walk through the basics. This is pretty awesome. And I just I just tested this. I had Miss Buffington. Um, she came in here. I said, hey, do you mind testing this? She said, sure. And uh, she, was, she was able to download the app on her phone, but it also works in a browser. So I'm going to call this Buff Class. I am Buffington. Yeah. All right, here's it's coming. Now my computer may blow up because we have a lot going on. The camera's starting. Whoa, uh, that sounds good. Everything's getting connected. No one is there. That makes total sense. So I'm going to join the meeting. And this is how I get my students into my class. They need to get this information. So I'm going to, going to copy the joining information or that link right there. It's been copied and now I can paste that into whatever messaging service that I need to, uh, to get to my students um, so they can join my class. So that's the joining information. It's usually a link. You could just copy paste that. And students don't need a phone to do this. Um, they can do this. Um, with their computer audio or their phone or their if they have a phone they can use their phone audio so i'm going to get out of this and as you can see there's probably a little bit of lag there but that's mainly because i am getting crazy with two videos going on at the same time so i'm going to hide this you know there's some cool features here you can turn off your camera anytime i'm going to turn it off just for the sake of like saving my computer from like doom it's like i hear it's like ooh, about to blow up um, you can turn your mic off at any time. There's a little mic button here. Maybe someone, because you're a teacher and you're teaching at home and you have kids. It's like, and a child walks in and is like, mom and daddy, I need help. And you just turn that that button right there. You just turn that so nobody else can hear you. That little mute button there. Um, what else do we have? Uh, I think I can get rid of the high tools. Any other options I want to show you? That's how you, of course, you get the people to join. That's their joining information. Um, turn on captions. This is pretty neat. I'm going to try this. It worked pretty well a second ago. And so students have the ability to hear catch hear it or see the captioning from people talking. Shazam. That's not bad. That's not bad. And it actually, it, it actually said Shazam. Um, and then you can present your screen on the bottom, right? Present now you can present your entire screen. So that means if you had a slideshow, um, if you had a document, pull that baby up, let them watch. It's a lot of fun. So uh, what's going to happen is when you have other people join this, you're going to see lots and lots of little screens in your students' faces if they have the ability to have a camera. Um, and I think this is a wonderful free option to let to allow teachers and students to get together live and, and talk about something, learn from each other. It's called Google Meet. Hey, and it's totally doable. There's just a couple clicks. Hey, anybody can do this. Let me tell you, anybody. If you have if you have the internet to do it, you can do it. I just got to figure out how to turn this thing off. Oh, there it is. Great. There it is. And then a uh, tribute to Little Richard. <laughs> 